wouldn't it be great if we could convert the cafe to one of those American diners? You know, all hot waffles and coffee 24 hours a day. <laughs> 24 hours? You must be kidding. I'm dead beat by dinner time. Yeah, well, it beats me. I'm going to pay this otherwise. Yeah. Was the winter quarter? Where for? Alaska. <laughs> right, go on, Nicky. I'll drop you off. No, you're all right. I need to get my football kit ready. Yeah, well, shape yourself and I'll wait. Oh, I hate sitting in that car. It makes me feel sick. Yeah, well, it makes me feel sick. I'm going to drive it, mate. But I'll tell you what I do to cure myself. I use my imagination. I pretend I've got one of those flashy fuel guzzlers like Mike Baldwin. Eh? Come here. Is that what this is all about? Eh? Too many flash rides in that jag of it. Everyone turns up in school in better cars than what we've got. Oh, do they now? Oh, well, I'll tell you what, mate. I'd hate to embarrass you. Come here. Can you follow your instincts and walk. All right? See ya. Oh, not that. I just ran into Carl Watson on the way home. Says the police reckon they've got a positive ID on one of the guys that turned over the shop. Hi. 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 What, what's that got to do? Girl, your mum's here. Well, come on. I reckon it was here now. Hey, she'll sure, be at school today. Where is it? Well, I hope you're going to apologise. You started it. Um, well, maybe not, eh? Let's go and see if your granddad Don's in. Come on, come on, come on. Chop, chop. Leave that there. Won't run away. Come on. Showing me up in the shop, you were well out of order. So were you, ma'am. All right. I apologise for butting in. And I apologise for shouting. There. Oh, go on, stick the kettle on. It's just hard, gear, because I mean, I love them kids. Do you know you have to get Martin to get a part-time job? How can he, ma'am? He's got a full-time job. Oh, I know. But, I mean, with all the will in the world, nurses only come out with pocket money, don't they? I mean, you're still going to be getting in these scrapes, even when he's qualified, aren't you? Eh? Don't say scrapes like we've squandered it. Oh, right. Don't jump down my throat. I'm only trying to help. Now, come on, how much do you want? You've not listened to a word I've said, have you? Gail, all I'm saying is that your situation isn't going to improve, is it? Eh? I mean, you never seem to have any money. I just don't think it's fair that the kids should suffer, that's all. Now, come on, what's your gas bill? They are not suffering. I don't want your money, ma'am. Mm, dear, we did get out of bed the wrong side this morning. Do you know, it's no wonder Nick is confused, you and your silly principles. I beg your pardon, they are not. If they are silly principles, it's you I get them from. Oh, go on, turn it round. Look, I pay my bills, ma'am, because I still have nightmares about going to bed in the dark. I struggled to find babysitters because I remember what it was like to be left in front of the telly for half the night with a bag of crisps. So don't tell me you've got so much money you've forgotten. Kids, don't forget. And I'm bringing my kids up properly. And I happen to be proud of what my husband does. And it means more to me than an overdraft, ma'am. You're going to shift yourself, or what? Hang on. Oh, great. She's ate all the toast. You might just. I told her to save me, please. She? Oh, she. Have you been in that bathroom? Of course I have. It will go again, and this turn, time, turn the taps on. Go on. Well, I'll see you. We'll go. Bye, heck, it moves. Oh, well, you'll keep me awake on that, won't you? Eh? Shut the door. <laughs> I've been in the bathroom. Well, you're a good girl. What is it? Never your mind, it's just to me, isn't it? Uh, come on, let's have a off. Gail, no, don't stop. It's like daylight robbery, something private. All right, all right. There you go. Tax rebate. Wow. What is it, eh? 440 quid. Shh, don't let Nicky heal want his own ice ring. <laughs> so, come on then. Who's the king? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Mm. If Nick is getting new trainers, I want some. <laughs> Don't miss a trick, does she? Mm, she's like a mother, isn't she? No, 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 no! Get out of here! Nice folks, just waiting for everyone. Yeah. Be careful here. Hello, everybody. Yep, who's this then? Mother, hello, darling. Oh, little girl, is everything all right? I'm sitting on the table. Oh, How are you? Well, I feel a lot better when I've been across the road and had a word with a certain lady. What lady? Gail! Now, come on, what now? Hey, what's happened? Guess who's been spreading the good news about Carmel? Oh, no. Yes. Now, come on, rowing about it's not going to help, is it? I'm not rowing. Oh, hello. Ivy, would you mind not going around telling people about Carmel and what she's been doing? I haven't been. Oh, no? Then how come my man rings up and seems to know all about it? Oh, your man? Well, yes. Yes. Well, I don't want you telling anybody, right? Who is it? I and I won't, because it's not the sort of thing I want to tell anybody. What? Carmel. It's got nothing to do with you, Ivy. It's between me and Martin. So you, please, just keep your nose out of it, right? Oh, excuse me. Who have you been telling? Nobody. So what was all that about? Well, I, I just told Audrey. Oh. Uh... And why not? She's supposed to be her mother. She's supposed to be grandmother, them kiddies and all. Yeah. So go on. You're going to tell me I've done wrong as well. No. Well, that'll make a change. I was the one who did it wrong. I should never have said a word to you. I should have known what would happen. So I have done wrong then. No, Ivy, you're in the right. You always are. Well, I'm certainly not going to sit here and be blamed for their sinful carryings on. I'm not blaming you. I've told you. I did it wrong. They did it wrong. We all did. But not you. Where have you been? Just got in. Yeah, I just saw your lights going on. All oh, right. Well, where's Gail? I'll tell you in a minute. Hey? We had tea at Sal's. Kevin read me a story. Oh, I've been in there. Hey, Nicky, uh, you just watch these two for a sec, will you? Put the telly on something. All right. What's going on, Sal? What? It's been an awful day. What's happened? Well, Gail's told me about, you know, why you packed in college. Oh, she has, has she? Well, she had to. Because yeah. Carmel came round today and tried to take David away from me. She told me a pack of lies and tried to take him off me. It was awful. Well, where's Gail? Eh? I don't know. She didn't say. But I think she's gone to try and find Carmel to have this out. About last night. Oh, forget it. He <clears throat> teased on the side. Martin, please. Look, it doesn't matter, OK? It does matter. You went to a lot of trouble with the kids and the meal, and I really wanted to... It's just when it came Look, to Look, it, it's not important, I've said. I want you to understand. Mummy, you won't let me in the bathroom. Just wait. Don't interrupt. I've got to get washed. We'll get your breakfast first, eh? And then you can get washed afterwards. Now, who's that? I don't know. I'll get it. Morning, sir. Sorry to bother you. We're looking for a Mrs. Gail Platt. Yeah, what's the problem? She does live here, then, does she, sir? Yeah. Well, if we might just have a word, then. Well, what about? I'd rather talk to Mrs. Platt, if you don't mind. Well, talk to me. I'm Mr. Platt. What is it, Martin? Mm -hmm. Mrs. Platt? Yes? I'm PCD. This is WPC Atkinson. We're here to ask you a few questions regarding a complaint made against you by a Miss Carmel Finnan. What? Please, Mrs. Platt, if we could come inside. Might be better than standing out here in full view of the street. Yes, of course. Come in. 